Good evening. Hello, everyone. So that's thematic because I was going to start tonight by sharing with you that we have many students who are on their way from various events, sporting events, and whatnot. So we have some empty chairs up here. They may fill in. So as students arrive, pay, you know, pay no mind. They may make their way up here. They may sit in the audience, but we're just going to work with it. It happens every year. So on that note, good evening, students, families, distinguished guests. My name is Katie Amenta. I'm the very proud principal of Berlin High School. It brings me great pleasure to welcome you all to our annual awards night, the celebration of excellence, dedication, and achievement. Tonight, we gather to recognize and honor the remarkable accomplishments of our students across various pillars of academic, athletic, artistic, and community achievement. Each of you have demonstrated outstanding commitment and determination throughout this academic year. And your achievements stand as a testament to your hard work and perseverance towards purpose, passion, and pride. As we reflect on the journey that has brought us here tonight, the early mornings, late nights, jam-packed weekends, let us not only celebrate the successes but also acknowledge the growth, resilience, and character that accompany every triumph and setback you faced along the way. I'm certain that behind every award received tonight, there's a story, a story of passion, of sacrifice, of resilience, stories that inspire us and remind us of our boundless potential within each and every one of us. Your achievements not only bring pride to yourselves and your families, but also to our entire school community. With that, I would like to officially turn over the microphone to Mr. Stephen Kalinske, the Lions Club president, and Mr. Dan Race, the scholarship committee chair, who will officially kick off our awards presentation. Please help me welcome them to the stage. Good evening, everyone. Uh, every year, the Lions Club gives a donation of, uh, to the valedictorians, salutatorians. We have Memorial Awards, and we have the Guardian Award. We're first going to we're going to start first with the uh, uh, Memorial Awards, and Logan Zesniak and Julia Palmis are the uh, recipients of this year's Athletic Award. The next award is for cheerleader Genesis Delbois. And then we have the band award for Cameron Malcarney. So e each year, the Berlin Lions Club gives out an award. It's called the C. Howard Godding Award. And it's a scholarship for outstanding young male and to an outstanding young female student athlete at Berlin High School in the memory of C. Howard Godding. The scholarship fund memorializes Mr. Godding's longtime contributions to the Berlin Lions Club, including the Berlin Fair Committee and as its president in 1951. It recognizes Mr. Godding's love of sports and his love for students that, both, that he both taught and coached for many years. Howard's son, Bill Godding, was a person who kept his father's memory alive by giving so generously each year since his father's death in 1979. On his father and on his mother and his sister's birthdays, they, all three of them had passed away, he would give several thousand dollars on their birthday. And that was for many years. Uh, so it, without 
Bill Godding, Bill Godding, we would never be able to continue this scholarship, and we uh, expect that we'll be able to it'll be really in perpetuity. It'll be able to go on for much longer than I'll be here. Somebody else is going to give this one out. So um, <clears throat> it gives me great pleasure now to announce the names of this year's recipients, and they are Samantha Dunn and Nic Nicholas Ibrahimi. Ab That's it for now. I'll be back. <laughs> Good evening. I am Evelisa Mayette. Rachel Rice and I are the coordinators for awards and scholarships for Berlin High School. And this is probably one of our favorite nights along with scholarship night because it's just really honoring some really great students. Um, at this time, I would like to introduce David Franklandia, our supervisor of physical education department. I know many people are going to say this, but I'm just going to say it so that we don't all have to say it. But this takes so much time and effort for Ev and Rachel. Can we just give you guys have no idea how many hours they've put in over the last month and a half. I just we need to give a round of applause for all their efforts. So I have I have four awards to give tonight um, on behalf of the physical education and health wellness department. We are pleased to recognize the following students for their outstanding commitment to physical fitness and health and wellness. For our freshman awards, the two awards go to Yahir Gonzalez Ramos and Paulina Kozjanski. Please come on up. I'm a little sick, so I'm not going to shake anybody's hand. You could do a fist, though. Good job. The Physical Education Sophomore Awards go to Gavin Bennett and Gabriel Santoro. Gavin's at baseball tonight. The Physical Education Junior Awards go to Jacob Solner and Isabel Fogarty. <laughs> Jacob is at baseball tonight. The Physical Senior Awards go to Connor Lindsay and Madison Steck. Thank you very much. Next up, we have Mr. Tyler Boyle to present the Art Department Awards, Music Awards. Come on up, Tyler. Thank you. Have a good night. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Fine Arts Department, we are pleased to recognize the following students for their outstanding commitment to the arts here at Berlin High School. The Outstanding Achievement in, in Drawing and Painting Award is presented to Chloe Constantine and Kaylin Stein. <laughs> the Outstanding Achievement in 2D Design is presented to Maddox Rodriguez and Natalie Caliandri. The Outstanding Achievement in 3D Design is presented to Eleanor Henriquez and Tara Newman. <laughs> the Outstanding Achievement in Advanced Placement Studio Art Award is presented to Madeline Lazara.
The outstanding achievement in early college experience UConn drawing is presented to Taylor Martin. The Rochester Institute of Technology Art and Design Award goes to Gianna Barill. The Mary S. Masirio Fine Arts Award alternates between the visual and music and theater art departments and is awarded to a student who has demonstrated excellence in the fine arts. This year's recipient is Alexandra Pauly. Now we'll move on to the Music and Theater Arts Department Awards. The following students have received Music Department Medals for this school year. Freshman Sidel Holland. <laughs> Sophomore Addison Guarino. Junior Nathan DeGiacomi. And seniors Caroline Benoit. And Hannah Smith. The Junior Achievement Award in Chorus is presented to Thomas Morrissey Corsetti. The Junior Achievement Award in Band is awarded to Cole Webster. The Senior Theater Award is given to Calvin DeLude. The Drama Club Award is awarded to Nora Ritchie. The National School Choral Award is awarded to Robin Chrysler. The John Philip Sousa Award is given to a senior member of the band who in the opinion of the band director has contributed the most to the band program. This is the highest award offered by our Redcoat Marching Band. This year's recipient is Elizabeth Yeski. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is given, is given to honor outstanding jazz students with the highest achievement in jazz performance. This year's recipient is Glenn Fern. <laughs> the Richard N. Perrinace Jr. Band Award is given in recognition of enthusiasm, inspiration, commitment, and dedication to the Redcoat Marching Band. This year's recipients are Ian Saunders and Whitney White. The Rex Smith Color Guard Award is awarded to a BHS Color Guard member who embodies the enthusiasm, dedication, and commitment to the Redcoat Band that Mr. Smith demonstrated during his time at Berlin High School, and especially as his during his time as coordinator of the Color Guard and Drill Team programs. This year's recipient is Giovanna Pandolfo. The Berlin High School Music Cup is awarded to a music student who has demonstrated outstanding musicianship, participation in honors festivals and ensembles, and commitment to the department throughout their time at Berlin High School. This is the highest award given by our department. This year's recipient is Cameron Malcarney. <laughs> I'd now like to introduce our English department supervisor, Mrs. Lori Pasewitz. Good evening. On behalf of the entire English department, we are proud to recognize several outstanding students for their passion, dedication, and commitment to reading, writing, and the language arts. 
The freshman and sophomore English awards go to students in each grade level who pursue their studies in language arts with passion, dedication, and a continued commitment to doing their best. These students genuinely enjoy reading and writing and have served as assets in their classes. The Freshman English Awards are presented to Sidel Holland and Paulina Kizjanski. <laughs> the Sophomore English Awards are presented to Sandra Carminati and Aiden Arcila. The Junior English Appreciation Award is voted on by members of the English department and awarded to a student showing a true love of literature and writing. We are proud to recognize Juliana Holliday for her outstanding passion, persistence, and excellence in writing. Our Junior Advanced Placement English Language Award is presented to a student showing outstanding dedication and achievement in our AP Language and Composition course. We are pleased to recognize John Pease for this award. The Junior Early College English Experience Award goes to a junior student exhibiting outstanding effort in our Yukon ECE seminar and academic writing class. We are proud to announce Jaden Andrade as the recipient for this award. <laughs> the Senior English Department Book Award goes to a student with a sincere love for reading. This student reads with passion and consistently engages their teachers and classmates with book discussions and recommendations for new selections. As such, the department is awarding Cypress White with a gift card to Barnes & Noble. Congratulations, Cypress. The Senior Early College Experience English Award goes to a senior student exhibiting outstanding effort in our Yukon ECE seminar in academic writing class. I am very proud to announce my own student, Julia Palmis, as the recipient for this award. Our Senior Advanced Placement English Literature Award is presented to a student showing outstanding dedication and excellent achievement. We are proud to announce Isabella Yagman as the recipient. <laughs> Once again, congratulations to all of our outstanding award recipients. Keep up the great work. Next, please welcome Mr. Ross Hansen to present the Math Department Award. Good evening, I am Ross Hansen, the secondary math supervisor. For excellence in math grade nine, the award goes to Madison Burgoff. <laughs> For excellence in honors algebra one, the award goes to freshman Veda Patel. For excellence in math grade 10, the award goes to Angelina Huwin. For excellence in honors geometry, the award goes to Monica Burbula. For excellence in honors algebra 2, the award goes to sophomore Luke Norton. For excellence in math grade 11, the award goes to Michael Good. Nice job. For excellence in honors pre-calculus, the award goes to Max Ding.
for excellence in math grade 12. The award goes to Ian Saunders. For Excellence in Advanced Placement Calculus BC, the award goes to Emma Lavoy. <laughs> For Excellence in Advanced Placement Statistics, the award goes to Paige Kemish. For Excellence in Advanced Placement Computer Science A, the award goes to Angela Gross. The Technology Vision Award is given to Emerson Walski. The Rochester Institute of Technology Computing Medal recognizes one student from the junior class who has distinguished themselves academically, are active and involved members of their school and community, and demonstrate interest and ability in computing. This year's recipi recipient is John Platt. The University of Rochester Xerox Award for Innovation and Information Technology is awarded to a student with a strong interest in innovation and or information technology and has a high level of achievement in this area. This student should also lead others to find new approaches to old problems. This year's recipient is Philip Bogatz. I would now like to welcome the esteemed Mr. Adam Leonard to present the Science Awards. Good evening. My name is Adam Leonard, Secondary Science Supervisor. For excellence in Grade 9 Science, the award goes to Brennan Quirk. The award for Outstanding Achievement in Advanced Chemistry goes to Monica Borbula. <laughs> for Excellence in Grade 10 Science, the award goes to Lor Lorenzo Calif Calafiore. The award for outstanding achievement in advanced biology goes to Ryan Lavender. <laughs> for excellence in grade 11 science, the award goes to Sunita Umiri. <laughs> for outstanding achievement in advanced placement, UConn ECE Biology, the award goes to Nina Welch. <laughs> For excellence in grade 12 science, the award goes to Jaylene Rosario. <laughs> For outstanding achievement in advanced placement UConn ECE Chemistry, the award goes to Nicholas Ebrahimi. <laughs> For outstanding achievement in advanced placement UConn ECE environmental science, the award goes to Victoria Vosvishayeva. <laughs> For outstanding achievement in UConn ECE physics, the award goes to Glenn Fern. The University of Rochester Bosch and Lam Honorary Science Award is given to a junior who has shown exemplary achievement and interest in the fields of math and science and has made positive contributions to our school and within the larger school community. This year's Bosch and Lam Honorary Science Award goes to Cole Webster.
The next award is for a student who earned a perfect score on the Next Generation Science Standards test. The recipient of this award is Justin Lopresto. The final award for the science department is the Fred Russo Award. Fred Russo was a beloved science teacher at Berlin High School from 1976 to 2015, serving as the science department chairperson from 1981 to 1986. Over his teaching career, Mr. Russo touched the lives of countless students with his enthusiasm for teaching biology and forensic science to students of all academic levels. It is in his honor and memory that the science department recognizes a student who has demonstrated a passion for science through superior classroom and laboratory performance in many science courses. This year's Fred Russo Award goes to Kaylee Spencer. That concludes the Science Awards, and now I'd like to welcome back Mrs. Pasewitz for, for, to present the next set of awards. Hello again. The Technology Education Awards are presented to students that have exhibited a high level of technological literacy, an eagerness to participate, and leadership within the classroom. These students have demonstrated mastery in a number of the varied areas taught here at Berlin High School, including communication, transportation, manufacturing, design engineering, construction, and public safety. The Technology Education Freshman Award is presented to Mia Beatty and Kayla Riccatelli. The Technology Education Sophomore Award <laughs> is presented to Chloe Constantine and Moise Nauru. <laughs> the Technology Education Junior Awards go to Michael Avino and Gianna Burrell. And finally, the Technology Education Senior Awards go to Jaden Lighty and Ryan Markey. <laughs> the goal of business education is to prepare students for success in school and in life by creating interest and understanding of the American business enterprise. The Business Department Awards are designed to provide recognition to those students who demonstrate excellence in the area of business education. We are pleased to award the following. The Freshman Business Award goes to Camden Lavoie. <laughs> Sophomore Business Award goes to Yanolin Weber. The Junior Business Award is presented to Marina Borselli. The two Senior Business Awards go to Kaylee Ouellette and Elijah Burgos. The Connecticut Society of CPA Outstanding Achievement in Accounting Award is presented to both Macy LaPointe and Alyssa Wenzel. The Rochester Institute of Technology Business and Leadership Award is awarded to a junior who has an interest in the area of business, has earned superior grades in business classes, and made positive contributions to the school or community. This year's recipient is Victoria Bosby-Sheyeva. <laughs> F 
Family and Consumer Science Awards are presented to those students demonstrating excellence in the field. The Excellence in Food Production Award is presented to Isabella Cott, Anna Hunt, and Joanna Jarambek. The Excellence in Child Development Award is presented to Victoria Mosier. The Yukon Early College Experience Introduction to Individual and Family Development Award goes to recipient Isabella Yagman. On behalf of the Technology, Business, and Family and Consumer Science Departments, congratulations to all on a job well done. <laughs> Next, please welcome Jeff Kronk to present the Social Studies Department's awards. The Social Studies Department works to develop responsible and ethical citizens as well as lifelong learners, we are proud to recognize the hard work and dedication of the students who have consistently exceeded our expectations. For excellence in modern world history, the award goes to Michelle Liu. For excellence in civics, the award goes to Adam Day. For excellence in United States history, the award goes to Nadia Malik. For Excellence in Advanced Placement Government Politics, the award goes to Nina Welch. For Excellence in Advanced Placement United States History, the award goes to John Pease. For Excellence in Advanced Placement Modern World History, the award goes to Addison Whiteside. The University of Rochester Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award is given to a student who has demonstrated commitment to understanding and addressing the difficult social issues, leadership, and dedication to community action with strong grades and rigorous courses taken in the humanities and social sciences. This year's recipient is Addison Sesniak. The Rochester Institute of Technology, Humanities, and Social Sciences Award is given to a junior who has earned superior grades in humanities and social sciences related classes and demonstrates commitment and understanding of our political, cultural, economic, and social world. This year's recipient is Nicholas Ebrahimi. <laughs> On behalf of the Social Studies Department, again, congratulations to all recipients, and I'd like to now welcome Jessica Ramey to present the World Language Awards. Good evening, I'm Jessica Ramey, the War Language Supervisor. The War Language Department motivates and inspires students to recognize the personal value and global benefits of learning languages. Our department awards recognize students who take risks to communicate with others and have shown outstanding performance and growth this year. On behalf of the department, I'm pleased to award the following. For French one, Isabella Chimilas. For Spanish 1A, Safia Syed. For Transitional Spanish, Jeffrey Gottlebowski. French 2, Aidan Sullivan.
Spanish Shoe, Sidel Hallam. <laughs> French Three, Natalie Zadroga. <laughs> Spanish Three, Jenna Grumo. <laughs> French Four, Nadia Goulet. Spanish for Anthony Manafort. The French Five Certificate to Ian Saunders. The Spanish Five Certificate to Emma Lavoy. The Level 5 Book Awards are determined by the department to recognize students who have shown exceptional passion for language and culture. They have demonstrated skillful use of the language throughout their high school career. The French 5 Book Award goes to Alexandra Pauly. <laughs> and the Spanish 5 Book Award goes to Cameron Malcarney. Now I'd like to introduce Liz Atwood Daly to present the University Book Awards. Good evening, I'm Liz Atwood Daly, the School Counseling Supervisor. I am pleased to honor outstanding juniors with book awards, which are sponsored by several colleges and universities. Along with the recognition of the prestigious award, the students are often given financial scholarships if they enroll at the sponsoring college or university. The University of Rochester, George Eastman Young Leaders Award recognizes a junior student who possesses a strong leadership within their school community, is actively involved in extracurricular activities, and earns high grades in challenging courses. This year's award is presented to Katherine Zybel. The Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute Medal recognizes a student who excels in advanced mathematics and science courses, demonstrates potential for success in a challenging academic setting, and exhibits significant involvement in extracurricular activities. This year, the medal is awarded to Victoria Vozvesheva. The Society of Women Engineers for Excellence in Math and Science recognizes one male and one female from the junior class who have completed at least three years of math and three years of science courses with distinction and are active citizens in their school and community. This year's recipients are Gianna Mealy and Alessandro Diarena. Di The next award is the Springfield College Book Award, which recognizes a student who has demonstrated an exemplary record of service to their high school and community. The student must also exhibit the personal values and aspirations that closely align with the mission of Springfield College, which is to educate students in spirit, mind, and body for leadership and service to humanity. This year's recipient is Taylor DeMeo. The Clarkson Achievement Award and the Clarkson Leadership Award recognize junior students who demonstrate outstanding leadership qualities, positively impact their high school and local community, and have a proven academic record. This year's recipients of the Clarkson Achievement Award is Anusha Hashim. <laughs> this year's recipient of the Clarkson Leadership Award is Samantha Dunn. Our next award is the LaSalle Book Award. This re the recipient should consistently pursue the greatest version of themselves. In short, the student should never seem to quit. The student is recognized for tenacity and a willingness to face a challenge head on. This year's recipient is Caitlin Tierney. <laughs> Our
Our next award is the Trinity Club of Harford Book Award, which is given to a student who has demonstrated outstanding academic achievement and leadership qualities consistent with Trinity College students. This year's recipient is Anthony Manafort. The Smith College Club of Harford Book Award goes to an outstanding junior who exemplifies the academic achievement, leadership qualities, and concern for others that characterize the thousands of women who have graduated from Smith College. This year's recipient is Jatna Vega. The St. Michael's College Book Awards highlight individuals who exhibit academic achievement and social consciousness. Students must attain high grades in rigorous coursework, as well as show a sustained and sincere commitment to community service, issues of peace and justice, and concern for others. This year's recipients are Macy Krosu and Julia Pelk. The Yale Club and Scholarship Foundation of Harford Book Award recognizes a junior who exemplifies outstanding personal character and intellectual promise. This year's recipient is Nicholas Manzi. The Dartmouth Book Award recognizes a student who has demonstrated outstanding academic and leadership qualities and whose high moral character, imagination, and concern for others has made a positive impact on their school and community. This year's recipient is Chloe Rollins. The Western New England University Book Award is traditionally given to a high school junior who shows a high level of leadership through extracurricular activities and community service. This year's recipient is Luke Wadstrup. The St. Anselm College Book Award recognizes a junior who demonstrates academic success and exceptional leadership qualities in the area of civic engagement. The recipient should embody the values inherent in St. Anselm tradition and have aspirations for continued education. This year's recipient is Carolina Carlone. <laughs> the Rachel Carson Healthy Planet Award The Rachel Carson Healthy Planet Award from Chatham University is presented to a deserving junior who is passionate and committed to improving the environment and their community through sustainability. This year's recipient is John Platt. <laughs> Sacred Heart University embraces a vision for social justice and educates students in mind, body, and spirit to prepare them personally and professionally to make a difference in the global community. The Sacred Heart University Book Award honors a high school junior who has excelled in any of these areas while contributing to her or his community. This year's recipient is Max Ding. <laughs> the Endicott College Book Award is awarded to a junior student who exhibits strong leadership skills inside and outside the classroom and has a desire for hands-on learning through internships and experiential learning. This year's recipient is Brian Scarazunuzo. The Tulane Book Award recognizes a high school junior who embodies Tulane's motto of not for oneself, but for one's own by demonstrating excellence in academics, leadership, and public service. This year's recipient is Janaya Lighty. The Rochester Institute of Technology Women in STEM Award goes to a junior who has earned superior grades in science, computing, and math-related classes, and exhibits an interest in pursuing college-level coursework in areas such as science, math, computing, engineering, technology, or health sciences. This year's recipient is Nadia Goulet.
The Rochester Institute of Technology Science and Math Award goes to a junior who has earned superior grades in science and math related classes and exhibits an interest in pursuing college level coursework in science, math, or other areas such as business, engineering, technology, or health sciences. This year's recipient is John Peace. Congratulations to all the recipients. I would now like to welcome back Mrs. Amenta to present the final awards. I am pleased to present the final awards for the evening. These awards are given to students who have demonstrated exceptional service or achievement at Berlin High School. The Berlin High School Yearbook Award is presented to Paige Chemish by the Yearbook Advisors for her contributions to the 2022-2023 Yearbook. Come on up, Paige. The Sarah Whitman Hooker Chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution Award recognizes and rewards individuals who possess the qualities and dependability service, leadership, and patriotism in their homes, schools, and communities. This award goes to Ian Saunders. The Adele Murray Award is given to a grade nine student with the highest grade point average. This year's recipient is Sidel Holland. The Berlin High School Faculty Award is given to a grade 10 student with the highest grade point average. This year's award goes to Megan Snyder. The Dr. Robert P. Long Award is awarded to the grade 11 student with the highest grade point average. This year's recipient is Victoria Vosvasheva. The Richard Patterson Award is presented in memory of Richard Patterson, Patterson, who was the first Berlin resident to be killed in a World War II attack in Pearl Harbor. It is awarded to a senior male athlete who has shown outstanding ability in the field of sports with good scholarship, good sportsmanship on and off the sports fields, and has been a credit to Berlin High School. Students are nominated by their coaches and the faculty votes to determine the recipient. This year's recipient for the Richard Patterson Award is Glenn Fern. The Franklin Bacon Cup is awarded to a senior student for their service, participation in school activities, outstanding patriotism, and citizenship demonstrated during his or her high school years. Students are nominated by the senior class and the faculty votes to determine the nominee. This year's recipient of the Franklin Bacon Cup Award is Ian Saunders. The Salutatorian Award is awarded to the student with the second highest grade point average through 15 quarters. Congratulations to Patrick Cott. In addition, the Lions Club also awards our salutatorian and our valedictorian. The valedictorian award is presented to the student with the highest grade point average after 15 quarters. Congratulations to the 2024 valedictorian, Addison Whiteside. The Connecticut Association of School Arts Award is awarded to two students who excel in performing and fine arts. Students must demonstrate scholarship and leadership. This year's recipients for performing arts is Glenn Fern and Maddie Lazara for visual arts. <laughs> the 
The Connecticut Association of Schools and CIAC Scholar Athlete Award goes to two students with exemplary academic and athletic careers whose personal standards and achievements are a model to others and who possess high levels of integrity, self-discipline, and courage. This, year, uh, this year's awards go to Logan Sesniak and Julia Palmis. The Connecticut Associations of Boards of Education award goes to two students whose leadership skills include willingness to take on challenges, concern for the ability to work with others, diplomacy, and honoring commitments. This year's recipients are Emma Lavoy and Ian Saunders. The Connecticut Association of Public School Superintendents Award recognizes two students based on community service, service to others, academic prowess, and leadership service to school community. This year, the award goes to Heba Jebley and Jacob Miller. Our final award for the evening is the National Merit Scholarship Program Letters of Commendation Honor Students who have scored within the top 3% of the 1.6 million junior students taking the National Merit Qualifying SAT, PSAT exam in the fall of their junior year. This year's commendations go to Jack Salerno. As we close tonight's ceremony, we hope the celebration serves as a source of inspiration and motivation as we continue to strive for excellence in all that we do here at Berlin High School. The students sitting in front of me and before me are the prime example of hard work, character, integrity, and everything that we have pride in here at Berlin High School. So please join me in giving them one more round of applause. I know that Mr. Frankelangia made mention, but I do have mentioned, I do want to take a moment to thank um, Evelisa Maya and Rachel Rice, who are coordinators for awards and scholarships. Some of you will be back um, very soon, and it is a tremendous amount of work to put together and organize and communicate with everyone. So thank you to Mrs. Maya and Mrs. Rice for all of their hard work. A final congratulations to all of our award recipients. You make us so proud. Please continue to shine brightly in everything that you do. We hope that everyone has a great evening. Please certainly use the front uh, lobby area for pictures, the stage, or the outside patio. It's pretty nice out um, should you want to get some pictures. We hope you have a great evening.